Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. As you can see, we have Forsberg's new FDZ here on the Road Atlanta circuit. So this car is downloadable through shop.forsbergracing.com. Com. If you guys want to take a look at it, it's a dollar to get the car off his website. This car was done, I know, by Kevin Stump. Did make sure I picked it up off Forsberg's shop to show the support for Forsberg and Kevin Stump. So, a few things on the Z. Credit where credit is due, obviously. It is the vr 83 det -T, and it's on 295-4018s and 245-4018s. Base model, Z, interior, rear mount, was from GameMods.R. Are you modified by Kevin Stump? Instagram VDC underscore Stump 717. I have done some things with Kevin Stump before. I've driven his cars before. Make sure you guys go check him out as well. Speed Hunters kit was done by um, Momentum and Radiator Steering Column and stuff like that. So this was a big collaboration. And of course, the wheels done by High Dimension, the VS Sound by Kawa, and Physics and Data done by Addy himself. So, I, as you can read it on the screen, we're going to go full send on this car. Two tracks, maybe three, but we're going to take a rip on this thing. A little bit of a showcase of Forsberg's new Z, so let's get to it. So, we're going to go full send in Chris Forsberg's car. The tire is a little bit smoked up. Not sure how this is going to react, so we're going to do a little bit of sight lap initially just to make sure we don't uh, go full send. Those lights are really bright. I'm going to turn those off. It's like daytime with that, and I think we need to move our seating position slightly to the left. So we're going to move this slightly to the left. We're going to save that in my INI so that I have it. Go full send. Make sure my car goes in the fourth gear. Huge wax entry. A little bit of a dirty e brake grab, though. We're gonna finish this off. Probably should have gone down in the third. Can't really see with that seat. We got this. Overall, not too terrible of a first run. Could have done way better, but of course, you know, new car, all kinds of stuff. We're only at 80% boost. Oh, boy. Well, you know, we're going to turn it up now. We're going to turn that thing up to 100 and try and get another run. Then we'll take a look from the box cam because this Rotoland track doesn't really have good replay angles. We'll take a look from the box cam. We'll take a look at another track as well. Oh yeah, way more power. We found the nitrous. Oh, and then we stalled it out. So I feel like we need to uh, stay in full power going through that eagle or downshift in third and maybe go back up into fourth. Things that I am learning with this car. Like I said, brand new car. If you guys want to download it, I'll leave the link down in the description box below so where you can go download it yourself. Alright, we're going to go full sand one more time. Want to get another clean run. One second here. That's not good. Very short. All the clutch kicks to keep the car in boost. Quick handbrake pull there. So overall, I will take that for Road Atlanta being a very difficult course to drive. So we're going to go take a look at the box cam of these two runs, and we'll see where we were. The so first send out with the first run in box cam, so we can kind of see where we're at. I know the first run wasn't the best run, but we're going to take a look at it anyways. Kind of a lax entry, kind of a really hard initiation. Kind of cut down a little bit. A little bit off there. That was pretty decent. So overall, that wasn't too terrible. 
I could have done way worse. For Atlanta, definitely a harder track to drive. I think I will take that for a first run out in Forsberg's car. Then we had the run where we kind of bogged out. Yeah, I think we bogged out coming up the hill. Yep, we bogged out there. We were out of power. So the second run, we'll take a look at the second run, and then we're going to change up track. Make sure you guys go check out this car yourself. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Really hard initiation there. That was a much better initiation. Oh, the rumble strips there. Way shallow there. Cutting that really short. But overall, not too terrible of a run given, like I said, new shakedown of the car. Don't know the car. A little dirt drop at the end. So we're going to go change up tracks, run this car another track. So let's get to it. So we brought the car to Orlando Speed World. Give it a final shakedown on a track that I'm becoming way more and more fun with and comfortable in. So let's go full send on this. Make sure you guys check out all my social media, everything up in the description box below, and shop.forsbergracing.com for this car yourself. Kudos to all the people who created it. Let's make sure we can get this car into fourth gear because we're having a hard time getting into fourth gear apparently. I need to adjust my shifter somehow get that gear back into place so hopefully we can get into fourth all right we got into fourth really low on the bank there gonna bring it in increase we need more power i think we're down uh yep we're gonna go up to full power and we're going to run the bank one more time to end this episode. We'll take a look at the replays, obviously. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode on Chris Forsberg's new Z in a set of Corsa. Go full set. 100% boost. All the power. Little flop, little flop there, but overall not too terrible. Don't think I was anywhere near that crease. But overall, for first runs in this car, definitely a fun car to drive. So let's take a look at those replays real quick. We're going to take a look at these two replays to end this episode off. Had to make sure we got into fourth gear, and we didn't have enough power, I felt. So we kind of fell lax off on the second part of the bank. And I felt we were a little off on power coming through the power alley. As you could hear, the car was kind of bogging down a little bit. So something we adjusted once we went up to 100% boost. Let's take a look at that one. Here's that run. Full 100% boost. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. That was a pretty solid run. Came off a little bit through there, but overall, not too bad. <laughs>